In this tutorial I want to show you how to change the battery in the wireless external push pad which opens your automatic doors and they all look like the one you can see on your screen right now. Uh, the box surrounding the push pad may be a slightly different colour but they all have this same square stainless steel push pad with the words press to open or possibly the disabled logo or a combination of both like the one you can see here. Now these are fixed onto the wall with usually a couple of good strong fixings behind through the back of the box and this square push pad plate is held on by two tiny screws which are located inside these holes which I'm pointing out to you here. So there's one at the top and one at the bottom there. And it's a you, to, to get this off you'll need a, a tiny 2mm allen key like the one I'm holding in front of you here okay that's the, the profile it's a standard allen key there's nothing special about it easily available from any hardware shop uh, or a B&Q or uh, one of the, the, the large stores and we literally put the the key in there and locate it into the tiny little screw inside you might have to wiggle it around a bit just to locate it and then we just unwind that screw to a point where it it becomes loose <coughs> and you may need to do this in stages and, and these, are, these are done like this for security reasons to, to stop the kids and, and people tampering with these so we just unwind these <coughs> now these are on a, a slotted fixing so we don't need to take the screws right out but you can it's not a problem if you do take them right out let me unscrew that and you can see it just lifts off. <clears throat> now if we look at the back of this switch you can see here that there's a, a, a slot in the bottom and a keyhole fixing in the top. Okay so it, that, that literally drops onto that bottom screw and, and if you wiggle it around it will drop onto that keyhole and it will drop back into position. Okay so you can let this dangle uh, on, from, from the box and let it just hang. Now, if you look inside, <clears throat> inside here is a 9 volt battery just like the one you'd see in your fire alarm at home or your smoke alarm at home and you literally unplug the battery give it a, a wiggle and I suggest what you do is hold on to the wires at this point because it will stop the wires becoming disconnected inside just give the connector a wiggle and pull it apart okay and you discard that and dispose of it and recycle it in, the, in a proper way replace it with a, your new battery just plug it back on and that's it it's as simple as that and you can tuck it back inside the box and then it's the reverse procedure to refit the plate so we're going to drop this bottom slot onto this bottom screw here and then we're going to drop the the other screw will locate into this keyhole and then we can wiggle it about and it will so we just drop it in like that and there we go so that's relocated and then you take your allen key again and you just tighten up the the screws in the reverse way that we took the thing off in the first place Okay, so that's how we change the battery and obviously <coughs> what you can do before you put the plate on if you push the switch you can test it to make sure that it's actually triggering your doors to open uh, just in case uh, it wasn't that that was not functioning properly and you can tighten those screws right up you don't need to tighten them up with the, the force of a 900 pound gorilla because we do want to be able to get this thing off in the, in the future okay so you can give your your plate a push just to make sure it's it's clicking and another thing to check sometimes these things can get jammed up with ketchup uh, french fries <coughs> we've seen uh, burger wrappers stuffed in them cigarette ends matches all sorts of things wedged in the side of these believe it or not uh, service history is uh, quite amusing when you look at it but if you push it you'll hear a nice click okay and it should spring back out so if you're not getting that nice click feel and it's good and solid then <clears throat> there may be something loose inside or it could be that something's too tight or jammed up uh, so you may want to have a look at that and that's it that's how you change your battery I should also just point out that not all push pads on the outside of the buildings are wireless and require a battery change uh, the batteries by the way should last between two to three years believe it or not uh, the timer on the little microprocessor circuit in the transmitter uh, switches the thing off if it's not being used so it does conserve battery quite well unfortunately at McDonald's restaurants <coughs> uh, you're quite unique and you do get um, large instances particularly at some stores 
where you'll get gatherings of kids outside or youths outside the restaurants uh, and they'll just continually keep thumping these things uh, and obviously sometimes uh, they do get kicked off the wall as well uh, you know when the kids get frustrated or angry about something but uh, they're not all wireless um, <clears throat> so you could if you're not sure you could take the, the plate off and double check uh, failing that you should be able to uh, contact us and we will be able to give you that information from our installation records so you can contact us on 0870 870 8093 thank you